WCHS. Today joining us at w here at WCTV are some of the students from It's Elementary at Sunset Heights Elementary. I'm Megan Hughes with Kaylee Snodders, and with us are Michael Carrasco, Lincoln Lasord, Lydia Perez, Shelby Eddy, Ashlyn Woodard, and Manny Hernandez. We are all very excited to be here today to help broadcast the show. We are here with a purpose, and that is to give you an update on the younger demographic of our fair town. That is quite a change from what, from its elementary, but excited, uh, but exciting to think that we might one day be a part of a program like WCTV. We'll be lucky to have you in the next several years. But first, both of you will have to tackle middle school. Michael and Tindall is ready to tell all about how the fourth graders are getting ready for their new surroundings. The birds are singing, the bees are buzzing, the flowers are blooming, and school is almost over. For fourth graders, the days at Sunset Heights Elementary is coming to an end, but some of them have fears about going to the middle school. I'm trying to find my way around it. The eighth graders. Um, getting yelled at by a teacher. Awesome playground, easier classes, and their lack of lockers to the middle school's lockers and slightly harder classes is a lot harder than some people think, but the teachers do the best they can with the kids. Some things that we do to help get the fourth graders ready for the middle school is all year we work on being responsible and respectful and we teach the three B's here at Sunset, which obviously hopefully will follow them all the way throughout their, um, their school careers. The fourth graders are looking forward to some things though. I'm looking forward to the lockers and the extra food at lunch. Meet new friends. The lockers. Tackle football. It's clear that the transition to the middle school is not the easiest thing to do, but with support from the teachers and reassurances from the fifth graders, these fourth graders are in good hands. I'm Michael Tyndall, reporting for WCTV. Thank you, Michael. I remember when we went from the middle school to the high school and how, was, how scared I was. I'm so excited for fifth grade. It's making me feel so old. It reminds me of when we went from third to fourth grade. I thought it was so cool to be the oldest in the school. But you can't forget all the changes you have to get used to. Did you guys ever have problems finding your cubbies? I always forgot where, my, my, where mine was. I forgot where mine was. Too bad no one helped us get used to the room before. Shay Helton is doing just that for the future fourth graders at Pleasant View. Take it away, Shay. Yeah, take it away. Moving to a new classroom can be scary, intimidating, and very overwhelming. We've all been in that stage of elementary when the most frightening part of school is the first day of a new grade. We put together a scavenger hunt to help a few third graders get ready for the fourth grade. Here they go, starting their first adventure with clue number one. This is where you would find the books to read. Okay. And read this the card. is where you can find, keep your new planner. On this wall, you can find math signs. Next, this is where you will find your teacher's stuff. This is where the smart board is located. Go to the table in the back of the room for your next clue. The closet in the front, in the front of the room is where you will find another clue. End of our Hunt, look behind the first blue door in the back of the room. This has been Shane L. Helton reporting for WCTV. Thanks, Shay. Hopefully getting a taste of fourth grade will come in handy for the third graders next year. It shouldn't take too much getting used to, though. Well, most of the stats stuff is the same ex except you can be in its elementary. One of my favorite classes by far. I think it is so cool that we get to make our own show. I prefer according over reporting though. I like in green too. Personally, I like putting together features and getting out in the world to report. Well, no matter what you like, our school district has great video production classes for all ages. I saw someone around the classroom last week learning more about our program, It's Elementary. 
It's Elementary is an elementary uh, TV program uh, designed for elementary kids, not, and they write the stories, they interview the people, they actually videotape the kids or, or the adults, who, you know, whoever's doing the story, um, and we try to get a program out each month. At first, we had WCTV, then entered from the middle, and finally, It's Elementary made its debut. It's unique because all of the fourth graders are a part of it, and in uh, the different levels, it's either a class um, as is in Project Explorer or it's a class that you're taking, but here it's all students. I think when they have a chance to, you know, we're always asking them to read and be fluent readers, and when they see themselves on camera and they see what they sound like and how important it is to have expression, when we're talking about all that fluency stuff, they actually get to see themselves and they know what they need to work on or how good they are. The entire process to creating the show is pretty similar to WCTV and From the Middle. The equipment here is a little different though. Um, this is my computer that I use for my editing and we have a digital video camera and then um, as a result of a grant we have a nice big screen TV that is our backdrop and then I've purchased two chairs that we use our, as our director's chairs. This has been Don Kintongdi reporting for WCTV. I've had a Mustang with T-tops. I've had a Mustang convertible. I've had two Jeeps, three vans, three trucks, seven canoes, a Chrysler convertible, and a Solara convertible, and I have never owned a regular car. I wish I was old enough to drive. Don't worry, it'll happen soon enough. What do you wish for? I really want to go to the prom. Speaking of prom, it's this weekend. I know, and I cannot wait. <laughs> but with all the excitement, everyone has to be sure to stay safe out there. Shifts have put together six ways to keep everyone safe at prom. In 2012 kicks off tomorrow at 4 at the middle school with the decorations walk around. As the day continues into the evening, everyone here in WCCV, the members of Shifts Happens, and all the faculty members of WCHS want you to have a fun and safe weekend. So here are your top six safety tips to your romance in the park. Tip six, keep it legal. Enough said. Tip five, be classy, not trashy. Have an attitude to match how you dress and respect those around you when out and about and on the dance floor. And please, keep your lips to yourself. Ew. Tip four, don't become a hood ornament. From walking from place to place, specifically across streets, watch for cars and drive safely, for your sake and your parents. Tip three, save the drama for your mama. Everyone around you is expecting and wanting to have a good night. Let's keep it that way. Tip two, don't choke on your smoke. The high school policy states that any high school student is not allowed to use tobacco in any form at any school-related activities. Doing so will result in an out-of-school suspension and or referral to the local law enforcement. So seriously, don't smoke. It's just gross. Tip number one, make prom 2012 a memory. Don't drink. Law enforcement will be standing by watching for any signs of drinking. A breathalyzer will be used if there is probable cause for it. Don't ruin the fun for everyone else. You'll have a great time without it. Even though these tips may seem a bit goofy, we really mean it. By following these six simple rules, you're en route for having a great night. Enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Along with prom this weekend, there are tons of sports going on, too. I can't wait to play soccer in high school. I love that sport. Speaking of soccer, girls soccer will be facing Gilbert tonight here on Lynx Field at 5.30. Boys gold will be at Algona tonight at 4.30 p.m. Girls golf will be here at 4.30 also. And girls tennis will be against Ballard tonight at 4.30 here. Tomorrow, boys tennis will be at South Harden Tournament. We'll be hmm? well, more on sports. Here's Cambria Hoffman with your pause for pause. Soccer came out of the gate sluggish with their loss to Ballard, but they came back with a defeat over Iowa Falls and Garner Hayfield Monday night. Girls Soccer lost their first game to a deeper bench against the Dodgers and their second to Mason City 1-6. Girls Golf went into the season with a young, inexperienced team led by senior Madeline Miller and lost their home triangular. Boys Golf is also having a rebuilding year with freshman Logan Yates in the one position, 
and finished last with Clarion and Clear Lake. WCHS Boys Tennis has had a rough start with tough opponents, but hope to win their next meet. Girls Tennis started off with a win over the Spartans and will continue their season for the next few days. Wins have been popular for the boys track team with victories at Forest City, the Elmstead Relays, and at the Lynx Invite. Finally, girls track has had improvement from last year with a second place at Algona and fifth at Waukee. This has been Cambria Hoffman with your Pause for Pause. Thanks, Cambria. See you next week for WCTV. WCTV.